Here's a video of how I put the low voltage board in on a McQueen. Here is the board. I uh, screwed it down. This coil is real delicate, so if you don't screw it around, yeah, screw it down and it bumps, it'll break, and it won't work anymore if you put stuff on top. They do sell some with a case on them, but if it's protected under the seat like this, it's usually not needed. Uh, I'll put links in the description. Be careful, some of the electronic ones that are uh, have the push buttons, they don't retain your settings if you lose power. So if you disconnect the battery, you got to open it back up and click, click, click all the settings again. So just be careful which one you buy. This one will save the settings. Because of the big draw on these motors, I'm running an 18 volt DeWalt. That's the reason I'm using this board. You need a relay. If you don't, this board will last like two, three days and it'll fry because it's too much draw for that teeny tiny little relay on the board. So basically using <coughs> this to trip the big, this is a 40 amp, I'll put a link for that too, a big 40 amp to kill the power. Works pretty good. I put these fins on there. Do they help? I don't know. Maybe. They do get a little warm when it's running. Uh, another problem I found with this McQueen is the gas pedal gets stuck. It almost seems like it's the plastic, but I can't be sure if it's not welding itself. So I'm either going to have to relay that or get a new pedal, a heavier duty pedal. But uh, I'll put a, a uh, picture of the uh, board. And that schematic should help you guys figure out the wiring on that. It's not too crazy, as you can see here. And then on the McQueen, the thin black and the thin red that go to the main harness or for the pedal. And of course, yellow and blue are the motors. And then this double connector here is to the front of the car for the pedals. So there you go. I hope it helps.